Hey guys, what's going on? Steven here. So today's video, um, I'm going to show how to waterproof your electronics. Um, now, this is just for demonstration only. I'm not going to be liable uh, for if your electronics get ruined. I do not want to be liable for that. I'm just showing you my method, what I use, and you can go with it. So, uh, first things you're going to need are, uh, this is what I use. This is a uh, Performix. It's a... Uh, same thing as Plasti Dip. Um, this is just liquid tape. It is waterproof. I've used this is what I've been using since I first started waterproofing. Uh, I found this to work well, so I keep using it. Uh, second thing I use is some 100% waterproof, uh, weatherproof silicone. Uh, as you can see here, it says 30 minute rain rain ready, um, and you will see why I use this in a few minutes. Uh, next thing you need, uh, you can use masking tape or electrical tape. Uh, either one, it doesn't matter. So, um, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'll go ahead and start with the servo. This is a, a brand new servo here. It is a, a Hi-Tech 7954SH. So, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take off the back screws here. Okay, so now that you got the back screws out and they are uh, loose, first thing I do is go ahead and pull this off, okay? Now be sure to hold on to this front because if you don't know what you're doing and you don't know how these gears go in here, uh, you can mess this up. So go ahead and hold on this and go ahead and pull this straight out, okay? So you got your screws there. Now you can see here the board. Um, this is, you know, the electrical board here. So, let me go ahead and open this up here. And you can see how that is there. Okay. So, what you're going to do is go ahead and just brush this on just like so. You don't want to do excessive. I mean, you don't want this stuff gooing out everywhere. But. Okay. Just like so. So you see that there. Now, next thing that I do like to do with mine, um, and what I forgot to mention is another thing that you will need, is... Um, when you pop these off, um, push down on this, on the gear, on the main gear, while you lift up on this. That way, you don't mess these gears up, okay? So you want to leave all these, you can see how those gears are, okay? Now, there's a bearing here, and there's also a little O-ring right there, okay? My bearing stayed on the gear. Usually the bearing would be up inside in here okay so is what I like to do is another thing you might want to pick up what I use is some marine grease um, you can see it here you see there how it says water resistant marine grease okay and I just use one of these little paint brushes and I put a little bit of marine grease in here especially around this top area You don't need a whole bunch. You know, just just a little bit, just like that. Okay? This is what marine grease does, especially up here, is it helps actually repel the water out of there from getting in here. But there is another step that I'm going to do. Okay? So, make sure you plop that back down. And there you go. It'll seat back just like that. Okay? So you can see it's seated back down. So now while this is drying, I'll go ahead and lay this to the side. Let that dry. Okay. Next thing I'm going to go ahead and do here is this is my receiver. This is my Fly Sky receiver. Go ahead and remove these two screws. And this is where this is where that clear silicone is going to come in. Remove this. Okay, should come out really easy. 
Now you got your receiver here, okay? So you can see they're just like inside the servo. Now, on this receiver, if you'll notice here on the case, this is the reset and this is the LED status light. It's this little light right here. That is the light, the LED. When I put on my Plasti Dip, I'm going to want to avoid that area right there. Okay? So now you can use masking tape if you want. I'm going to use this electric tape here. And I'm just going to tape around here. Okay? Just like so. Avoiding that area. Okay, so if you want, you can just put a little piece of tape there. Um, the little reset button, don't worry about that little button because this stuff is flexible. You'll still be able to push down on it. Okay? So now, that's what I'm going to do. Some dirt in there. And I'm just going to brush this on here. Like so. So, as you can see, that's what I'll do. Is I'll just set this down over here and let this dry. Okay, now next is the ESC. Um, this is an old ESC. Well, this is the ESC out of my rival um, that burned up. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and show you on this one. First thing you're going to want to do is however your ESC um, comes apart, I'm not sure. You know, every ESC is different. So I know my Mamba Max Pro, I believe it just um, had some clips on the side. So um, we'll go ahead and find the correct bit here. Okay, so uh, in pulling in pulling this ESC apart, uh, I was having a little bit of a hard time, and I was just going to demonstrate on this one. But uh, this ESC is actually already waterproof. Um, see if I can get in close. See there, the electronics are actually already full of clear silicone down in there. Okay, so that one's already waterproof, so I can't. I can't do that there. Um, I was just going to demonstrate on that. Uh, it's pretty much waterproofing the ESC is the same exact thing as waterproofing your receiver. Um, you'll just pop it out of the case. You know, you'll put the uh, Plasti Dip on the bottom. Uh, wherever your status lights are, go ahead and uh, tape those off so you can use the clear silicone as well. Um, same thing I'm going to show you here in just a few minutes. So, uh, yeah, that one's already waterproofed, though. So, after you've have let this dry for a little bit, um, this is the servo. So, uh, we put marine grease in here, and we put Plasti Dip on here. So, we're going to go ahead, and we're going to take our, our cover here. Okay. So we got our screws back in the bottom there, and we got our Plasti Dip on the board, and we got our marine grease underneath. So this is an aluminum housing here, and this is the heat sink to uh, dissipate heat that's uh, produced by the servo. Now there is an opening up here, and also down here. I like to take it a step further, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a piece of tape here, um, and cover up this heat sink. like so okay now what I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna take some more of my liquid tape here 
and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover up that crack there to screw heads you can see there how I have a sealed around the wire and around the screws okay now I'm gonna let this dry and I can peel the tape off now we'll come back to our uh, receiver here that's just about dried okay um, and remember we had this little piece of tape here Okay, so as you can see, the LED is left there. Go ahead and take our silicone. Okay. making sure to overlap the black part okay the uh, the liquid tape like so okay so you can see there how I have the silicone covering the LED that way I still get that status light okay so now that we've had some time um, to let this drive let it dry for about 30 minutes uh, go ahead and remove our tape here okay and uh, we're left with nice clean plugs so now we can go ahead and put it back in here um, first I'll go ahead and show you here so you can see there how you can see the uh, status light of the receiver okay so there you go that is the reason for the clear silicone. So we will go ahead and put it back in here in our case. Uh, just be careful with it. You don't want to crunch it down in there. Just make sure that it fits in there nice and snug, you know, the same way it came out. That is how we waterproof our receiver. Okay? And the button, the reset button. If you can hear that, still clicks, okay? So that's waterproofed. Next our servo. So our servo is dry. Go ahead and find the end of the tape here. And we'll go ahead and peel our tape off. So, what we're left with is our seams here sealed up, but we still have our heat sink. Okay, we're still showing the heat sink. Now, we, you don't want to cover that up because uh, these servos can produce quite a bit of heat, and uh, that's the way it disperses its heat. Okay, so that is how you uh, waterproof uh, a receiver, a servo, and uh, I was going to do the ESC, but like I said, this ESC is already waterproofed. It is uh, full of clear um, silicone or whatever they use inside there. So to recap everything, um, again, I'm not going to be held responsible. You guys do this at your own risk. Um, I've been doing this many, many times, and it's worked perfect for me. So, uh, you know, just take apart, just take apart your uh, ESC or your receiver or your servo. Um, I like to block off the LED status lights, that way I can still see them. Go ahead and put your Plasti Dip, your liquid tape, around your electrical circuits, your boards, all that, um, being sure not to put it on the LED status. Let it dry, 
Put on your clear silicone on the status lights, let that dry, put it all back together, and you're good to go. Install it back in your vehicle, you're good to go. Now my advice is I wouldn't completely submerge my vehicle in water. Um, you know, I go on events and stuff like that and I do drive through the water, but I don't completely submerge my my rig in water. Um, that can cause more issues than anything. So, uh, hope this helps, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, anything, please leave them down below. I appreciate you guys watching. With that said, remember, take care and always have fun.